Hi hi. So let's continue with our our matrices. All right. So let's discuss the answer for uh, from the previous lesson, which is exercise six point three, question one a until h. So here I'm using Jun Kang's answer from year eleven a. All right. Okay. Let's look at exercise six point three here. Question number one. Let's mark the work together. Huh? Okay. So remember when you multiply with matrix, you multiply the row with column. Okay, row with column. And first thing you need to know is you must know what is the order of the product. Okay, the order of the answer. Okay, the order of the answer is coming from the row and the column. Okay, here. Huh? And if you want to know the uh, whether you can multiply or not, you have to check. The column here and the row here, if it's the same, then you can multiply. Just like how Jun Kang did here. Okay, so your final answer must be 2 by 1, right? Uh, just a recap back what we have learned so far in matrix multiplication, okay? Right, so uh, number 1a, this is the answer. Negative 1, 5 is correct, right? And you see it's row by column. So basically, the first one here is row, first row times the first column to get this, okay? And as for the second answer, it's coming from second row and first column. Okay, I hope you uh, get a hang of it already now. Okay, let's look at part B. Okay, this is the answer, correct. Okay, the final answer must be 2 by 2. And part C, the answer must be 2 by 2 as well. Okay, correct, 2 by 2. This is the correct answer. Okay, and let's look at part D. Part D final answer is 3 by 3 and look at this final answer here 3 by 3. Wow, big, uh, uh, quite a big matrix here. Can okay, E, uh, one row and one column, your final answer must be one row, one column only, which is only one answer, 31. And part F here, your final answer is 2 by 2. So this is the answer. Okay, and then let's look at G and H. G. There is no solution because uh, this is 2, this is 3, This it's not the same number. So you cannot uh, multiply if the column and the row are not the same. Okay, so no solution which is undefined, correct? And then this one also the same. Okay, the column here and the row here are not the same. If not, not the same, then it's undefined. Right? Okay, that's all for your homework. Let's look at... Uh, your example here, okay, example that I made. Alright, so now we need to learn new things already. Huh? You know your addition matrix, uh, subtraction for matrix, and multiplication of matrix, that's the most important one. You need to master the multiplication of matrices because that is the hardest part in matrix. Alright, and then there are a few things I need you to know, okay, which is this one, okay. So you must know what is identity matrix, okay? Identity matrix is denoted by uh, I, okay? So your I can be uh, a matrix of 2 by 2 here, which is 1, 0, 0, 1. Or your identity can be uh, a 3 by 3 matrix, the order of 3 by 3 matrix, with the 1, 1, 1 as your diagonal. You can see these two, Okay. The similar things between these two is that diagonals are all one. Okay, You see the diagonals here is all one. And then the diagonals over here is one and the rest are all zero. Okay, The rest are all zero. So what you can see in identity matrix is only one and zero. And the one, the number one are all in your diagonal. Okay, The next thing you need to know about identity matrix is that it must be a square matrix. Okay, When I say square matrix, Okay, it must be a square matrix. When I say square matrix, means that the order, uh, the order must be the same, as in the row and the column in the order must be the same. Okay, so it must be n by n. Okay, the order of the row and also the column must be the same. So, for example, two by two, three by three, or four by four. Okay, something like that. We call it as identity matrix whereby the diagonal numbers are all one and the rest are all zero all right okay and then the next thing you learn is zero matrix so zero matrix is everything inside the matrix are all zeros that's it very very easy very simple okay it doesn't matter whether it's a square matrix or any other order 
as long as inside the matrix all the elements are zero, if all the elements are zero, then we call it as zero matrix. Alright? Okay, let's go back to the example here. Okay, I hope you copy down this one. Alright, so A, B, I, identity matrix, I represented as identity matrix, and O here represented as a zero matrix. You see all the elements here as zero, zero. 0, 0, all zeros. Okay, so find the following matrix product. So products means we're going to multiply, okay? Okay, so when we have A, when we times with I, okay, this is another important thing you need to know. When we, what are so special about identity matrix, okay? That is what I'm going to teach you here, okay? I already introduced you identity matrix. And now what is so special about identity matrix is that when you have a matrix A, okay, 2, 5, 4, negative 8 is from A here, and the I here is 1, 0, 0, 1, right? Okay, the special thing about this identity matrix is when you times with the another matrix, okay, means that if another matrix times with identity matrix, what you get is the same thing as uh, the matrix A, okay, A times with I, you will get back the A, okay? You can try multiply this, you will get back the same thing, okay? I'm not gonna show you here. If you want, you can try, you will still get the same matrix A, okay? And the same thing goes to IA, okay? Identity matrix times with matrix of A, okay? Identity matrix is 1, 0, 0, 1 here. So this identity matrix, if you times with the A, okay, your I in front here, your A is next to your I, like this, you will still get the same thing, which is 2, 5, 4, negative 8. Okay? So, uh, remember, whatever matrix, when you times with the identity matrix, you will get back the same thing. Alright? So, I want to put a note here. Identity matrix, if you have A, matrix A, times with identity matrix is also equals to identity matrix times with A which is also equals back to your A. Okay? A times I is still A, I times A is still A. Alright? Provided that these two are matrix. Okay? So, AB, okay, I've covered AB which I want to, I just want to tell you that uh, a i is equal to a, i a is also equal to a. Okay, next, when we involve with empty matrix or zero matrix, okay, we normally call it as zero matrix, huh? So what happened is if we have a matrix of a, okay, two four negative five eight, when we times with this zero matrix, we will get back the same thing zero 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 zero. Okay. By the way, when we multiply, right, we not we are not multiplying like first and first one, second and second one. We have to use the row and column method, ah, huh? matrix multiplication. Okay, so when you times, you will get zero zero. Okay, I'm not gonna show you how I times it. Uh, this is one of the fact that you need to know, right? And then same goes to uh, zero matrix when we times with the a, even though it's the balik, right? OAO and OA, you will still get the same thing. As long as when you include zero matrix, you will get back uh, zero matrix. Okay, so here I want to conclude that for your zero matrix, AO okay, is the same of OA and you will also get O, which is uh, your zero matrix. Okay, you will get back zero matrix. Alright, let's look at um, here. Now, E and F, I'm going to show you A, B and B, A. Okay? A, matrix A, matrix B, they are not identity matrix, they are not empty matrix. Okay? When we times with A, B and B, A, okay, you try to do it by yourself first. Because when we include matrix, right, A times B, multiplication A times B and B times A, basically they are not the same, okay? Not same, huh? A, B and B, A, not same. Okay, now I'm going to prove it to you. Okay, so here we have A times with B. Alright, 
By the way, when we have an order of 2 by 2 with 2 by 2, okay, we can multiply because uh, here is the same. Here is the same. And your product will be 2 by 2 also. Alright? So now I'm going to show you how I multiply this. Okay? Recap back first, uh, your matrix multiplication. So row by column. Alright? So your final answer will be 2 by 2. Okay? So the first one will be first row and first column. So 2 by 1, uh, 2 times 1 plus 4 times 3. Okay, I'm not going to go to detail again on uh, how to exactly times 1 by 1 like that. Huh? You can go back to the previous lesson to check it out. Okay, but if you have done the exercise by your own already, I believe you have to hang on it or uh, hang on how to do matrix multiplication, right? So uh, here will be this one times this one, 4 times 1 plus negative 8 times 3. Okay, and then uh, first row, second column will be here. 2 times negative 2 plus 4 times 4. Okay, and also second row, first column, uh, second row, second column. Okay, right, so here is this times this. Second row here will be second row, first column. Here is first row second column second row second column All right so after you times okay i count first 2 plus 12 14 here is uh, 5 plus 10, 5 plus uh, minus 24 is negative 19 here is z no 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 negative 4 Plus 16 is 12. Here is negative 42. Okay. Negative 10 minus 32. Negative 42. Okay. You try to do and compare with my answer. I thought I do wrong. Okay. Careless mistake happens. Alright. Now let's look at B times A. Okay. So let's see if B times A is the same or not. Huh? Definitely not the same since I already told you earlier on. Right. Okay, so when we times like this, okay, also the same, we focus on the first row, first column, dulu. And I get plus negative 2 times 5. And then second row, second, col second row, first column. Okay. First row, second column, and also this one. Okay. Okay, so this one I will get um, 2 minus 10, negative 8, uh, 26. 20 and negative 20. Okay. Mm. See, they are different. A, B and B, A, they are different. So, in short, conclusion, A, B is not B, A. Okay, please note this down. Okay, note that down. A times B is not B times A. In terms of matrix, we are now talking about matrix, okay? Not the normal algebra A and B, okay? Uh, a will be represented as matrices, okay? Okay, and then the next thing you need to know when we encounter A square, right? A square is not a square like this. 2, 4, 5, negative 8. When you square, you get your answer for... And then 16, 25, and 64. Nah, no, not like that. Ah. Okay, I purposely show it here. It's not this way to do matrix for A square. So for A, A square, you need to do this. Okay. Do like this. And 2 by 2, your final answer will be 2 by 2. First row, first column first. 
2 times 2 plus 4 times 5 Okay, and then second column turn A second row turn Plus negative 8 times 5 Okay And then with the first row, second column And with this 5 times 4 plus negative 8 times negative 8 okay okay so this is how you do a square and your final answer for here is 24 negative 30 uh, negative 24 and 84 okay you help me count huh? mana tau I do coilers there Right, you see it's different with the a square just now you do, right? This is 416. This is definitely a different thing. So a square, do not do like this, okay? This one is something that all level uh, all level question they like to ask. Okay, this one, uh, a warning sign here, okay? So please take note on this. And then now same goes to b square. Okay, b square, you double the b. Matrix b, double it like this times with okay so you times like this first row first column okay you practice on how you multiply matrices okay uh, no need to look at my answer you do it by your own if you already know you actually don't need this anymore okay but I just show you that Okay, because not everyone uh, has the same pace. Some can do very fast. Some need some time to process. Okay, you can always pause the video and uh, try by your own first. Okay, and then this one for the next one. Okay, if you notice when I write this, right, you see this one is same. One, one, three, three. Negative two, negative two, four, four is from here. Okay, always use row times column first. Okay, the horizontal first times with the uh, with the vertical. Okay, so this one I will get uh, negative 5, 15. This is negative 10. And this is 10. Alright. Okay, so I've done with this. Okay, recap again what we have learned today for today's lesson. Okay, today's lesson is also under mat uh, multiplication matrix. Alright, uh, you learn about identity matrix. So identity matrix must be square matrix, okay? It must be square matrix and the most common identity matrix in all level questions are all, you can see it's like this one. 1, 1 uh, on a diagonal here and 0, 0, okay? The diagonal is at this side one punya, this side punya um, diagonal lah, not this side lah. So this is 1, 1, this is 0, 0, okay? If you have a 3 by 3, it will be 1, 1, 1 like that, the rest are 0. Okay, and then you learn about zero matrix. Zero matrix are matrix with all elements are zero. Okay, and if we have identity matrix times with a matrix, you will get back the same uh, matrix. All right, and if you have a, a matrix A times with zero matrix, you will get zero. And the notes here, please write down. Okay, when we multiply A B with B A, they are not the same. Okay, they are not the same. And lastly, when you have square. Okay, A square or B square, you don't square it like how I do here. I, sh I purposely show a wrong one here. Huh? Uh, you can write down the wrong one and put a cross big big there to show that you, will, you won't do this kind of mistake. Okay, so when you see A square, what you do is A times with A. Matrix A times with matrix A. Alright, so now go to uh, homework. Okay, so this is your homework. Uh, page 222 two, two. okay question 4 a b c only and then 7 a only and 9 9 a c okay uh, you try to do by your own because when you do by your own you will uh, even more familiarize with the how the method on doing metrics all right all right that's all for from me today uh, thank you guys see you guys again soon stay safe bye